New developments tonight in our I-Team investigation into Fairway Oaks. Three city council members have now seen the crumbling homes for themselves. Last week, Councilwoman Katrina Brown visited some of the homes and said that she did not want to see Habajacks receive any grants until her constituents' problems are fixed. Well, tonight, some of her colleagues agree. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker is joining us right now. Kent, now just a few weeks ago, we had a third-party inspector come in, give me this 23-page report, which we presented a couple of weeks ago. Now, I did forward that report not only to the mayor's office, but also to the Jacksonville Housing Authority and to Habajacks themselves a week ago. Now, I haven't heard anything back, but I did hear that Councilwoman Katrina Brown forwarded this 23-page report to all of her colleagues on city council. And today, two of them stepped up to the plate. The last city council meeting, uh... Councilman uh, Brown asked that we uh, that we have a facility where we can hold a meeting, and so we actually set up the meeting and uh, emailed all the other council uh, persons to actually come out and actually see for themselves. Just two weeks ago at this city council meeting, several city council members made a promise to residents of Fairway Oaks. They would come out to see the cracking slabs and sinking homes for themselves. And Wednesday evening, that promise was met. Our cameras weren't allowed inside this community meeting, but Homeowners Association President Nathaniel Borden tells me more than 50 residents showed up, along with council members Sam Newby and Reginald Brown, seen in this picture addressing the crowd. A lot of them are now just becoming aware of the issue. So they, they're just being aware to actually see some of the problems for themselves, to go back and tell the other council persons what's going on, to try to keep from having Jack getting any money until they actually fix the issues at hand. Inside the meeting, Borden says health concerns Concerns were a major topic and Jacksonville area legal aid was also present but couldn't tell me much. I did however ask if they talked about filing a lawsuit. Basically it's not in the funding when it comes to legal aid and we, they already don't told us that that it's not in the funding that we will actually have to come up with the money to actually file the lawsuit. Borden says the homeowners would have to raise more than $100,000 to file the lawsuit but in the grand scheme of things residents feel that's a low cost compared to how much money they've already lost from homes they thought would be a lifetime investment. And city council starts up again in a few weeks after the council members return from vacation. The residents do plan to be back before them expressing their issues. And again, I will be resending, resending this 23-page report not only to the mayor, but the Jacksonville Housing Authority and Habajax themselves. I am awaiting an answer.